What's up guys, Evie again, checking in here. Um, gonna be working on my winter project here. I have a uh, Toro Sport Lawn, I believe it's from 1950. I have a plethora of pictures, do a little montage here. I picked this up from a guy on Facebook Marketplace for 75 bucks. He didn't know if it was running and he thought all it needed was gas. So I brought it, went down, pick it up, then so far, after I've been working on it here, I had to take off the recoil, I had to sand the, um, it has point and contacts. So essentially what that is, is that there's a little contact that keeps going like this every time the coil goes around. And that can easily corrode. And so I took some sandpaper, uh, I think 80 or 120 grit, just kind of rubbed it, you know, got it in between here. Rubbed it down, uh, cleaned off the surfaces essentially, put the recoil back on and got the got it sparking. Um, I put on a new spark plug and other than that, I think I've just kind of lubricated things, trying to get things, you know, moving correctly. And then I did have it running earlier. I can throw another clip up here of it running. Since I had it sparking at that point, um, I figured it was obviously part of the carb. When I looked inside the carb, everything's good. I cleaned out the jet with some carb cleaner. That looked, I mean, the carb itself looks like really good shape. The inside looks, you know, like it has essentially no corrosion, no buildup, no nothing. Figured out there's a small fuel pickup tube. And this has been the bane of my existence, trying to deal with this piece. I've looked all over the internet, um, across all different kinds of things. Mainly what I figured out is that this is a Briggs 5S or 6S, leaning towards a 5S because it's an older model. And I finally called up a guy named Will out in Virginia, uh, and he explained to me that this fuel pickup line that I have does not have a check valve. So I do not have a recoil, so I'm going to start it. I'm pulling this cord. I have to rewind it back up. I got to pull it again. I got to rewind it back up. And because it doesn't have a check valve, each time I do that, it's sucking up the gas and then dropping back down and sucking it up and dropping it back down. And that's why it took me like four or five pulls just to get the thing started in the first place. So that's what I'm working on here today. Um, give some close ups here, but essentially what he said is I need to get a number 15 drill bit, which is obviously extremely specialized. I had to go pick that up. I had checked with some family friends and stuff and nobody had it, of course. Uh, so I'll tape a little portion here of um, a quarter of an inch, or yeah, a quarter of an inch. I'll measure up, put that on, and then slowly drill into the carb so I can fit in a newer fuel pickup line. And the newer fuel pickup line will have a check valve in it. And the guy that I talked to said that he's done this over like 500 times. So let's give it a go. See here, the reel is actually, I think it's in decent condition here. Um, as far as the bed knife is concerned, uh, let's see how well I can get this to show up. This, here's kind of the one issue with the bed knife. I'm trying to get it to show up the right angle there, but I believe right here there's a little ding, which I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. Might just have to file that down.
here's what I'm talking about. I took off the coil here, and underneath is where the uh, point contacts were. Um, one other thing that I've done since is I replaced this governor spring right here. You can see it kind of adjusts right here, the governor leaning back. That's essentially my throttle there. And here's the carb. This is where the fuel filter pops up. I can throw up a picture of that right here. And then the fuel tank goes down here and the fuel pickup line will connect down. All right, so I think next what I gotta do, I gotta pull up this carb somehow. So let's see what's attached to it. I think we're gonna just take that out. All right, so we're over at my workbench here. Take that one out. Put in my new number 15 here that I just bought. Okay, that's good. There's that number 15. All right, here's my tape measure. Oh, need some tape. All right, this green stuff, this will do. Leftovers from painting around the house. I'll lay this down, put this here. I'm gonna go quarter of an inch. There we go, now do it like this. Tape out quarter of an inch. All right, so looking down. I'm gonna pop this up just so I can get, so I'm not just eyeballing this. One quarter. There we go. Deep, 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 deep. That's barely anything. So, there we go. Now let's get the carb. Oh man, that right there. Probably will need to replace that gasket, but just want to get it running first, so. Oh, then we have the fuel gasket, which honestly, I'm just gonna say screw it and go around it. All right, so here goes nothing. It would help if I turned it on the drill setting. That's it. Alright, so there it is. A little tap, tap, tap. Alright. Alright, so here's the old fuel pickup line. You can see right there, there's the crack, hairline crack. So I tried spraying carb cleaner down this. You can see it's extremely thin. And I went out and bought two parts. So I have this part, 293700. Tried that, that was too thick. Then I got this one, 296476. And so when I talked to the guy, I put this one to the bottom so you can see it here. He pretty much said this is going to be the exact same thing as this other one, except this one is the original brass and this is going to be the plastic replacement. So I'm going to try this brass one. Hold it up. You can see here it essentially looks identical. Nice clean filter, pretty much never used. But now here's the difference. Look at this. Look at the size of that hole. Versus the size of that. You see that, that difference in size there. It's obviously much bigger, so that's why I needed to do the drilling part. So, let's give this a shot. Huh. 
Well, it does not appear to want to go in that. It feels like it's very, very, very close. But not quite. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to try it one more time, just making sure it's fully cleared. Yeah. Seems alright. Get some of that crud out there. Try one more time. I mean that, it like kind of wants to stay in there, but then you see it falls out. Alright. I have this, this other one, too. This is open. I'll give this a shot. Oh, well, that one popped right in. So that may work. Um, let me, uh, I guess I'll consult again with uh, Mr. Will. See what he says and go from there.